Okay, so usually we start this with a video, mm -hmm. but we're mm -hmm. not because we have a big announcement to make. This <laughs> is a couple things. It is our season finale. It is spooky season, which is why I we know. are wearing. It's our the spooky little, season episode. We like wearing the little the little hats. Yes, <laughs> but also it's our series finale because Isis is moving ah. on. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us where you're going. Um, I'm going to do some graphic design for a commercial real estate company. So yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, <laughs> super exciting. So Isis is leaving our company, so we will be ending the podcast. And we originally were supposed to talk about fences, but we both decided that it was not a great topic to go out on. Yeah, it was a little was, too dull. <laughs> yeah, really dull. And honestly, the research just wasn't there for either yeah, of us. Yeah, because Mary asked me. I was like, uh, I didn't get much. Yeah. <laughs> just some pros and cons. I literally found a paragraph oh, on the no. history. Yeah, I feel like it'd be hard yeah. to get the history on that. But you're going to laugh because the Greeks were actually the first one to actually use traditional fences. <laughs> so it was going to be continuing our theme yeah. of Greeks and Romans. The Greeks and Romans. Um, there is some argument whether or not the Great Wall of China is considered a fence. Do you oh, think, really? Do you consider that a fence? It was meant to keep people out. So yeah. I guess technically. Technically it is. Technically a it's giant a giant fence. fence. Yeah. yeah, it's a giant <laughs> fence. Um, like, uh, they also said that one of the, like, biblical, the wall of Jericho could be considered, like, a fence. Oh. But I guess it was really the Greeks who had the first yeah. first type of what we would consider a fence. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. Yeah. We're not talking about fencing. <laughs> because it is our last episode ever, we decided to do a retrospective. Yes. So we're going to talk a little bit about everything. A little bit about everything. So I was looking at our numbers. We started in October of 2019. So it's been like exactly three years. That's crazy. In fact, right before COVID. <laughs> yeah. Our first episode was October 7th. So just a couple oh, days ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so in three years, we've done four seasons. That's a lot. It's a I'm lot. Like, I looked back at it the other day. I was like, oh, my God, we did so many. I was like, <laughs> I know. And I think it's really it's something to be proud of. Mm -hmm, yeah. Unlike other people who've neglected their podcast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, not going to name any names. <laughs> but I'm just saying he mm -hmm. is closely related to this company. Um we followed it through all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. So I was worried that we wouldn't get a chance to film a last episode. No, yeah. I was like, we got to, we have to. Yeah, we, have we, to. we found time. Um, so like I said, we started in October, October 7th of 2019. We were in Sam's office. Our audio quality was terrible. Yes, it was. We were like in a box. Yes, basically. it was really bad. It was really bad. <laughs> and our video quality was really bad, too. Yeah, I think we were just only using the webcam at the time. Like, yeah, just the webcam. Like, and at one point we were using Zoom. Yeah, was, we were. But I, yeah, I think that was also maybe because of COVID. I don't remember. But we we did it in person. But we yeah. were filming it on on Zoom. Zoom. Yeah, yeah, that was really terrible quality as yeah. well. <laughs> uh, but thankfully, by season three, we had better quality, better video quality. Mm -hmm. So thank you for sticking around for yes, that. Yes, we came a long way. We came a long way. <laughs> um. Our first episode was actually on galvanized piping, mm -hmm. which is funny because it's a topic we kind of go back to yeah, every now and then. All the time. Um, so that season, we kind of just did our greatest hits. Like I based it off the classes yeah, that I yeah. was teaching That was like, time. I feel like one of the most fun seasons because there's like so much information. Yes. Like, lots of really dense those information. Those were like the topics that we never had problems like searching. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That was the other thing. They were very um, hot button topics mm -hmm. so our second episode was hydrostatic testing which is pretty controversial as well yeah and then stucco we actually interviewed beth from yeah Stucco Spect. yeah yeah that um, was pretty cool so you were there with me once when I taught a class about stuff. Yeah, and we ran into her. And totally ragged yeah, on her website, and she was in the audience. <laughs> I remember that you were talking about the webs. And then she came up to you after, and we were like, oop. <laughs> it wasn't awkward at all. Yeah. I did not realize she was in the audience. I want to say that. Yeah. I, and I also didn't say anything that mean. I just said their website was really outdated. Yeah, I just said it was a little outdated. That was it. <laughs> and then in a funny twist, they ended up updating their website. Oh, really? Yeah, like right That's after funny. that, they updated their website. I feel <laughs> kind of guilty about that. Um, then we did aluminum wiring, which is a really, it was a sad one. We talked about that fire. Oh, yeah. That killed a bunch of people. Um, and then we did wood destroying insects, 
That's a fun one. It Always. is a fun one. It's They're scary. A huge problem here in Houston. Yeah, it's really bad. Um, followed by Foundations, which also a hot topic. Yeah. And then we did an episode on Ashy versus Internachi. Yeah. And that was right after the conference we went to. Mm-hmm. In New Orleans, I think. Yes. Yeah. So in 2020, we went to New Orleans for the Ashy Conference, and all so many people there got COVID, but it wasn't called COVID yet. Yeah. Chris got it too, and a couple people were even hospitalized. That's, that's actually crazy. That was literally like a month or two. A I think month. it was like a month before. It was weeks before. Yeah, it was like weeks before everything went to poop. Went know? to poop. <laughs> and so the crazy thing is Chris, like all these guys including chris got this weird respiratory virus and it wasn't the flu and it wasn't a cold oh my and they couldn't God. figure out what it was and then like a month later it all went hello, to hello. Yeah. yeah what do you know <laughs> uh but yeah that episode i always laugh about because we talked about the civil war basically between internachi and ashi and it turns out internachi won so follow up to that internachi wins that war because yes, ashi do. is a shadow of its former self yeah. now yeah so it's crazy how three years yeah. has made such a difference. Um, That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. We didn't even go last year because they canceled. Yeah, and then and then we know about this year. <laughs> yeah, this year is a total yeah. <laughs> train wreck year. Um, and that's another one where Chris was on Facebook ragging him and he's friends with the president of Ashley yeah, and she saw the whole thing. I saw that. I saw that <laughs> on Facebook too. I, I, I saw his post. I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awkward. Um, but right before COVID, we wrapped up the season with infrared roofing and flashing and crawl spaces. And that was February 28th, which is like, that was the, oh, what, what popped up? Oh, let me see. Oh, okay. I was like, wait. Okay, good. Um, February 28th, I think, was like the day someone went to the rodeo with um, the COVID. They yeah. went to the barbecue, and then like a week later, they had to shut the rodeo down. Yeah, I remember that, too. That was terrifying. Yeah, that, that was, was like the, the worst time. <laughs> yes. That's how you know, I mean, business here in Houston when they shut the rodeo down. Yes, because that's like the rodeo is a big deal. The rodeo is a huge deal. And I'm actually getting like goosebumps thinking about it because it was really traumatic. Mm-hmm. It was. It was insanely traumatic. And um, things definitely got out of control pretty fast after that. Yes, so, they did. <laughs> yes. We started our second season in COVID. Mm-hmm. And at that time, we were still at Sam's. Yeah. And you and I decided to just do it. And hopefully we would not get COVID. And we ended up both getting COVID, but separately, not from each other. Yeah. So it did work out. Yeah. <laughs> it did work out. Um, but yeah, April 27th, 2020 was our first episode of season two. So we were like out of lockdown at that point. Yeah. Because Greg Abbott was like, oh, it's been four weeks. COVID is over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I won't say anything, but COVID has been over in Texas for a <laughs> long time. Yeah. Um, I have very strong feelings about <laughs> Greg Abbott. So <laughs> Who doesn't have very strong feelings about Greg Abbott? Yeah. Um, yeah, we really shouldn't get into that, yeah, but we won't get into it. But have yeah. you checked your voter registration? Yes. Are I'm you good, good to vote? I'm good to go. Good. And I'm good, good to vote. We are, we are raring to vote. I think the first day is actually Monday. Yeah. Is uh, the 24th. Everyone. Yeah. The 24th. <laughs> so your first day at your new job. I'm going to go vote. Go, after. go vote after. <laughs> yeah. Whew. All right. So our first episode was septic systems, which is another hot topic. Yeah. That's a good one too. Yeah. This was another I think feel I feel like season two was another one we did a lot of hot yeah topics. for sure yeah because we also did I think pools yeah right. we did pools on my birthday actually that Ooh. year yeah <laughs> that's weird that's random I don't remember that at all <laughs> um we did addicts yeah. grading and drainage which is always a boring topic but super super important yeah grading and drainage is very important it's so boring i don't yeah. even teach it anymore oh that's yeah. so true yeah i like, haven't taught that class in a very long time i can't remember the last time it's just i mean there's you can't dress it up it kind of like fences yeah except it's worse than fences yeah you can't dress <laughs> it up at all uh we talked about siding mm-hmm. that was a big one decks mold Mold is a big one, too. Yes. And windows, phase one, phase two, and phase three. Yeah. 
And that season, we actually ended really late. We ended that season in November. Yeah. yeah. I think that was like a season we had like a bunch of uh, mishaps. Yes. <laughs> we, I think we recorded like a whole bunch and then had to take almost a month off. Yeah. Cause I think you got COVID. You yeah. had COVID or like I think, in that summer. I think it was like my sister had COVID. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And we all lived together. So it was like didn't want to risk it yeah yeah so you were working from home from like a large yeah. chunk of that of june that year um it was really stressful yeah basically that season we were just like catching up when nobody was exposed to covid yeah which is impossible yeah it was it that. was a struggle <laughs> yes at that point in time season three i really like because yeah i was gonna say that i was gonna say i think season three was like my favorite yes. one because it, it had the most interesting topics. yes it had a theme yeah we had a theme and it was peak. I feel like this is our, this is our like greatest season. Yeah, I think so too. And that's also when our sound got better. Everything got better. Yes. That <laughs> we, moved, we moved into this studio space. Yeah. Maybe were we at this studio space? Maybe it's, in twenty in the la, in season two. I, I don't think so because I remember doing phase one, two, and three at, at Sam's. At like, Sam's. I remember okay. Being in there. Yeah. So but I think it was. Season. And I remember being here for carbon monoxide. So okay. I think that that season three was when season we... three moved into our new digs. Yeah. But um, drama ensued moving into these digs. One of the episodes we did, my dogs ran away. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> we were doing the episode and someone was just banging on mm-hmm. the door and we're just and they like were trying to return the dog. Yeah. We were uh, like, go away. <laughs> yeah. Because that was when you and Chris still lived here. Too, yes. So. Yes. Yeah. We do still live here. Oh, yeah, yeah. We do live here. Yeah. We live here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I don't care anymore. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, sorry. That was an inside joke. I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, my if dogs you know, ran you know. away, but yeah. we got them all back. Yes, they're all, they're all, they're all doing well. And I think, I think, that, I feel like that was the window. Oh, no. I don't know what that, when that was, but we ended up re-recording it because you could hear the like the banging and the barking. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty, yeah. pretty intense. But season three had a theme. We talked about dangers in the home, mm-hmm. which was really fun. Actually, yeah, that one that one was like definitely my favorite. Yeah, sure. and because the carbon monoxide was like super scary, it kind of went. The season started really scary and kind of tapered off. Yeah, yeah, into we, not as scary. Yeah, it slowly like diminished, but it was still all still scary but <laughs> yeah it was still scary we just talked about carbon monoxide which is always scary yeah. especially now yeah heading into the cold weather yeah and we talked about all the side effects and yes. health problems that could possibly happen <laughs> right now everyone's suffering from ragweed what like is that? it's a allergen so oh, everyone has really bad allergies yeah right now. i noticed that too my yeah. allergies were getting bad too like a week ago i felt it in my sinuses i was like what's going on yeah um so it's like now it's like is it covid is it flu is it ragweed is it yeah. carbon monoxide and there was a the monkey pox for a little bit too. monkey pox <laughs> that actually i was freaking myself out watching like tiktoks about that. so it makes you look it's really scary like when you get that yeah it's way worse than chicken pox oh yeah yeah you, you, it's like on your face yes like, i was like at the gym like freaking out for like a good week i was too afraid to touch anything yeah me too i was like i don't want to leave my house yeah like, this but then scary. it's like yeah 2,000 people have it out of, what, 10 million people yeah. here? I mean, yeah. like, it's infinitesimal that you mm-hmm. would get it. You're more the, likely the to odds get, are very low. <laughs> yeah, you're more likely to continue to get COVID. Yeah, like, for sure. So anyway, episode two is Radon, which was a fun one because we don't really have it here in Houston. Yeah, yeah, we don't. So Isis and I had to, like, figure out what it was exactly. And yeah. um, I will say this. It makes me – people should be more concerned of Radon than they are. Mm-hmm. especially if you have a basement yeah it's like just it's just there it's there <laughs> it's, it's always the, there <laughs> literally the earth poisoning you yeah exactly the it's earth just there in the back. ground like we can't do anything about it uh season th- or episode three was pesticides yeah that was a fun one don't drink them oh yeah no episode four was asbestos where we were reminded how corrupt capitalism is i've noticed this podcast has a really serious anti-capitalist been to it and that was completely unintentional that was just something that that happened naturally okay yes it did because just by doing the research you realize a lot of these bad things lead back to people making money Mm -hmm. to the free market yes so why yeah (laughs) and that also brings us to episode five which was lead yeah oh my god 
Is that the one where we learned about like the people poisoning other people like back in the day? So that probably was arsenic. Okay, that was arsenic. But lead was where we learned that there used to be lead in our gasoline, yeah, which is why yeah. the 70s was full of serial killers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw Dahmer. Yeah. After we all saw that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i i still can't finish watching it yeah it's, it's too upsetting freaky. it's, it's too very upsetting. upsetting it's a little exploitive too i feel like yeah so. i agree i agree um did you see that the guy who made midnight mass just released a new show yes and i i started watching it yesterday is it good um so i'm on the first episode i'm in i'm i'm interested because that's just because like i am a fan of all his shows yeah like, like midnight mass was amazing i think it got it like emmy nominated it was amazing it and gives it still gives me chills yeah, just thinking about it it was like, it was beautiful I think that was his it was best one yet. yeah i think that was his best season it like, was show yet but this one, um, it seems good so far. And a lot of, uh, of course, a lot of the actors from... It's like, yeah, it's term. like um, American Horror Story. Yeah, it's like, like a, he uses the same actors. Yeah. And they're all really great actors, especially that one Catholic lady that you Bev? end up hating. Bev, She's back yeah. too, so... You know, Carrie Josephson told me that I, I, Bev reminds him of me. What? And I was like, not Bev. <laughs> How dare you? I was like, Everyone my hair has to be better than Bev. <laughs> That's um, so funny. I know, but he said it's because she likes to get things done. Yeah, she played that part so well because she comes out in like the other seasons before that, and you're like, oh wait, that was her. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Like she just has that face, mm -hmm. it's a, like a punchable Karen face. <laughs> so, um, yes. I is it scary? Like I don't know if it's um, like. Yeah, there was some jump scares already, yeah. like the first episode. I was watching it at night and I was like, maybe I should uh, wait for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, because Midnight Mass was it was scary, but it wasn't like terrifying. Yeah, like, it wasn't like keep you up. It at was night. like eerie. It was eerie. Yeah, it yeah. Was very eerie. eerie. Cause, yeah, it there was, were a few jump scares, but they were not scary. Jump like it was always like a cat or something. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't like yeah. a demon. When I, I went back and watched it again and I noticed all the jump scares like and all the creepy like yeah. things I missed the first time. Yeah. And I was like. Whoa. It upset Chris. He was like, why are we watching this? <laughs> <laughs> that's it was, funny. But I mean, that's why I was worried. That's why I haven't started because I'm I'm sensitive to things that are like like the ring type. Scary, yeah. You know, yeah. like I can do like slasher horror mm -hmm. or like Midnight Mass, which is more of like um, to me, it's more of like a dramatic horror. Like, there's, yeah, because it's like a lot of insinuating. Yeah. And, yeah. And a lot of mystery. Yeah. And a lot of just getting a lot to of know, open ended. Yes, stuff. Yeah. A lot of getting to know the characters, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then stuff like um, what's that one? Where the couple who's famous, the ghost hunters move into a house. The Conjuring. I can't watch stuff oh, like that. Oh, you really? I can't watch stuff like that. <laughs> the Conjuring is for, actually really good. It the, ruins at least me the first for a one. week. <laughs> like, literally, it puts me on edge. I think, like, if I watched it alone, because I live alone, I would be scared for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. That spooky season um, mm -hmm. die tribe there. Yes. But, yeah, I need to watch more. I'll let you know if it's okay. good. <laughs> I'm watching that one with Mila Kunis that just came out, The Luckiest Girl in the World oh, or something like that. Oh, I think like I that. heard about it. It has one of the guys from American Horror Story. Oh, it. really? Yeah. Ooh. You should. I, okay. It's pretty I good. I'm, I'm halfway it. through it. Okay, cool. It's pretty good. I'll anyway. Have to, I'll have to give it a watch. Sorry. <laughs> we also talked about, we talked about arsenic. We just mm -hmm. said that. The arsenic was an interesting one because we learned that our clothes and our wallpaper Used to have arsenic. Yeah, in it. and the people working in the factory. Yes, know. and we get arsenic all the time just from drinking water. And if you garden, you get it from soil too. Yeah. So we all actually have arsenic exposure. We it's just not in high amounts. Yes, thankfully. Um, we talked about bugs, not just termites. So this was not a termites episode. Yeah. What were the bugs? Do you remember? I don't. I'm like, I'm blanking on the bugs. I think one of them was cockroaches. Yeah. Oh, we did ro oh, roaches, yeah. bed bugs, fire ants, and fruit flies. Yeah. Oh, the fruit flies. We did the fruit <laughs> flies because this building has been infested with fruit flies so many yeah. times. Like, Chris actually had to bomb it twice. Yeah, it was so bad. Like, it it took a while. Now it's like, there might be like one little guy flying around. But, but where? Where yeah, are they coming from? I don't know. Like, why? And... We have no trash in the house anymore. Yeah. So there's no reason why. Yeah, because usually now I just take my trash with me. I'll just be like, I yeah. don't want them to come back. Yeah. Oh, God, it was awful. They yeah. were literally crawling all over our computer screen. Yes, crawling it was all so over bad. Us. You like accidentally inhale one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like right in your face. 
Uh, episode eight was rodents. That's a yeah. fun one. The raccoons. You, yeah, and... raccoons. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, raccoonie. Have you seen um, everything, everywhere, all at once? No, I, ha- I you have, have, to, watch have it. to see it. Yeah, I want to see it because I like. I remember when it came out. I was seeing a bunch of TikToks. Everyone was like, "That was the most amazing movie ever." Oh well, I'm gonna see if I can rent it somewhere. Yeah, and you'll watch finally it. get the raccoon. Yeah, because because I, I really do want to watch that movie. Yeah, yeah, it's super good. And in the beginning, you're like, "Well, this is kind of weird and boring. I don't know." If, and then it just takes you. It's like a roller coaster. Yeah, it, it takes, takes you, on you a all these different ways. Yeah, and then at the end, you're like, "I have no idea what happened, but I loved it." Yeah, ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to watch that one this week because I have been wanting to watch it. Yeah, I remember I almost went to the movies alone to watch it, but then I didn't end up going. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. raccoon. You'll finally understand the yeah. raccoon. Yes, yes. reference um and episode nine was vocs which is something we don't really talk about but i thought about this weekend when i spray painted something mm-hmm. without wearing a mask oh no and i thought i was gonna die i actually <laughs> thought this smells so strong <sighs> yeah i even ventilated it i had it in our garage with like the doors open for a yeah. crosswind and we had a fan blowing on it Mm-mm. i i literally thought i was gonna die need a little mask you gotta wear the mask <laughs> they don't tell you this they need mm, to put a don't. thing on the front yeah, they need like a warning label it's in the something. fine print on the back they need to make it like more noticeable yeah they need to put like a person wearing a face mask on the front yeah so and then episode 10 was building codes which is i don't remember it because it was just random yeah that was like the yeah that was a, the that was hard episode. i remember that one being really hard yeah i remember that one was really hard to to research i even wrote this last episode was a bit difficult i have to admit i really struggled with this topic and it's it was hard to research mm-hmm. yeah I, I remember that i think it was hard for me too yeah but we survived yes we did we survived into this final season mm-hmm. which is season four which was a random season yeah this was a random season and i think the topics were still good yeah i think they were good too um but they were just random. There yeah. was no theme. Yeah, there was no theme this time. Yeah. I would have liked to continue the theme. I just couldn't put one. It's hard. It's, it's hard. definitely hard. Like last season was like a good one. But then it's like, how do you. How do you top it? Yeah. How do you top that? And how do you like come up with a category for all that yeah. stuff? I think in retrospect, had I known we'd go so far, I would have themed each season. Yeah. Like done one season just on like plumbing stuff. One yeah, season just yeah. on outside of the house stuff, you mm-hmm. know. Um, but I wasn't thinking that yeah. far. We were we were we were winging it, so yes. And the world ended. So yeah, for a never bit. forget that. The world ended. I don't think we will ever forget that. I it it honestly in my brain doesn't even the the memory's barely there. Right. Like it I'm was like, so traumatic. I'm like, I don't even know what I did during... The- what did I do? I know I watched <laughs> Tiger King. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know I did a puzzle or two. Yeah. But I it was, like, so traumatic. My brain is, like, blocked. Yeah, it. I think I played a lot of Animal Crossing because that's yes. when it came out. <laughs> yeah. Well, didn't you get, like, kind of some notoriety on Twitch? Oh, yeah. Twitch, and then I, that, I did some Twitch, called Twitch. Yeah, Twitch yeah. streaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> so crazy times crazy times crazy times and it, now it seems like they keep saying covid's still here but it seems like it's yeah i mean i just went to a festival this weekend and no one was wearing a mask yeah <laughs> so. yeah where was i last time i flew no one wore a mask yeah i think they they stopped they stopped the mask thing recently yeah like, i think like maybe like two or three months ago yeah i was surprised because i flew in april and in april i did have to wear a mask yeah but now you don't I still would, though, because planes are nasty. So apparently (laughs) I've been reading about that. Like the filters are really strong now. Oh, really? They do filter out Mm. COVID. Mm -hmm. Like what you where you get it, I guess, is if someone coughs on you. Yeah. So if you're like on a plane, the person behind you is coughing. You're more likely to To, get it. To get it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Put the mask on. Yeah. Planes are a little crazy. Yes. (laughs) Uh, So this season, like I said, was random. We started with Eves or Mm Ephes. Always a fun topic. Yeah, that is a good topic. Talked about fireplaces. And we actually started on January 3rd. So we carried this season out long, a while, too. Yeah. yeah. This was a long one. Yeah. Um, we did sprinkler systems. And I think what happened was the reason it took so long is we stretched, decided to do one episode a month. Yeah, that's we were what trying we did. to do two a month. And this one we lot, did yeah. one episode yeah, a month. Yeah, that's, so. that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, We talked about water wells, which is always full of ring references because the ring. That one was a crazy one. The water wells. Scarred us all collectively. That little girl. That little baby. Did you 
I think I was in eighth grade when it came out. So you would have been like, what, fourth grade, third grade? I don't even know. Like, I was 14 and I am seven years older than you. So you wouldn't have seen it when it first came yeah, out. No, definitely not. Okay. I was a little baby probably. You saw it later. Yeah. Was it just as upsetting? Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it was. It's like, oh my God. How? <laughs> How does something like this happen? Terrifying. Yeah. Terrifying. That movie messed me up so badly. That's why I can't watch movies like that. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah. The <laughs> ring like broke my brain. The ring. Um, I actually, actually dressed up as the girl from the ring no! when I was like in like second or third grade and I, I won a costume contest with oh that costume. God. Did you put your hair like in front I of I had a face? wig. Oh. I had like a, the long wig and I had like, I was like. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. That triggered a memory. I was like, "Oh, yeah, I dressed up as her once." It still upsets people because people have it on TikTok all the time where they're dressed up like her. That's how terrifying that movie was. It is freaky. Yes, because people still dress up like her and still scares the crap out of people. Yes. And the funny thing is, in the movie, they're using a videotape, which most people probably don't even understand. That's not a thing anymore. Not definitely the, the, not a thing. VHS. Really wasn't a thing when they made that movie. Yeah. Though, to be honest, it was already pretty obsolete. Yeah, it was already starting to. Because I mean, I had VHS when I was younger for a little bit, but I think DVD started happening. Yeah. By the time yeah. that movie, I actually watched the movie on DVD, so that oh, gives you okay. an idea. Because <laughs> uh, I never would have gone to the theater to watch a movie like that. That one had to be watched at, at home. home. Yeah. In the comfort of your home. Yes. But we had to stop it. My friend and I watched it. We had to pause it halfway through and turn on all the lights. Oh, <laughs> no. We couldn't. We could. <laughs> Another thing I want to point out about our podcast is it always has technical difficulties. Yes. <laughs> There's been so many times the mics weren't working or the video wasn't working. Oh my God. It was never like easy. Yes. There, like, were, hey. there were some some hurdles. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying before the camera shut off. Yeah, rudely interrupted us. Was that my parents had a basement and it had two like you would the stairs were like in a hallway so you couldn't see them. So you'd come down the stairs around the corner and there were two big rooms, like a TV room and like a kitchenette area. Yeah. And then there was a door and the door led to the rest of the basement, which was the laundry room and then actually a back bedroom that my parents used as storage. And that door was the scary yeah, thing. Yeah, that sounds yeah. creepy. Yeah. <laughs> so we would we stopped what we were doing and we turned all the lights on in all the rooms of the basement so yeah. there were like lights coming out of the door <laughs> so we could see if like shadows or anything yeah. were coming out of the door and my parents also had a um a walk out basement so there yeah. was a big door in the basement oh, too which no. was so freaky at night yeah like, that's scary you would never like if someone came up to that door you wouldn't see them till they were like on the door yeah so yeah it definitely was terrifying yeah, that's that's definitely a scary one. <laughs> yeah. And then seven days later, oh, no. I stayed up all night with my family. As long as my family were awake, I stayed up oh, no. because I was like, she ain't going to come get me if I'm with people because she waits. <laughs> and I'm like, if I can just stay up all night, I'll be oh, fine. No. <laughs> so I made it. I survived. You're still here. It was a long <laughs> night, though. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it was a long night and very upsetting. Yeah. So, yeah, that was water wells. Yeah. Very triggering. <laughs> For a whole generation of people, just incredibly triggering. Yeah. Um, and then we talked about HVAC systems, which is a big, mm -hmm. very important. HVAC oh, yeah. systems are super important. My AC broke like three times this summer. That's right. <laughs> because your apartment complex is just, I don't know. Yeah. I will be moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which is such a bummer. I know, because I really didn't want to move, but I was like, yeah. I mean, this ain't it. You're hvac broke your door wouldn't open my door got stuck i literally like texted me i was like so like my door won't open <laughs> they came and they removed the whole door like i was like i can't leave <laughs> and then your sink got messed up too. yeah it? my sink got clogged Jesus. the other day the garbage disposal mm -hmm. was broken a few times <laughs> that apartment is a nightmare yeah so only like uh like six more months. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta survive. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Um, and then we had gas lines and gas appliances, which yeah. is a new one for the REI seven dash six that was released in February. So it was that episode was important for everybody. Yeah. Then my favorite was trailers, module homes. Yeah, and tiny that one was homes. fun. The tiny yeah. homes. I love tiny homes. Mm -hmm, they're so cute. I know. Chris and I are going camping actually. Mm -hmm. On our way back, we're staying in a tiny Ooh, home. Yeah. That's so exciting. I specifically. <laughs> 
rented it like because on the way back we always we're always like so far out we can't get back in one day yeah, so yeah. we always like stop at a halfway point yeah so um yeah we're gonna stop at a tiny Ooh, tiny, tiny house <laughs> i'm excited like we've always been curious about them and now we're like well let's just stay in one and yeah. see yeah what if you we need just, the like, you need the tiny home experience exactly exactly <laughs> um episode eight was about condos which reminds us to never own a condo yeah yeah or live in an apartment complex yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> um Nine was Hardy Siding, which is another random one. But yeah, that one was actually pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah. We saw Chip and, and Joanna. And that brings us to here. Mm-hmm. Our last episode ever. Yes. So I am very sad. That I know. Up. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's very, very sad and upsetting. And but we thank everybody for listening to us. Yes. I think there's like a hundred of you out there. Yes. It was fun. It, it was, was good. We had a very good run. <laughs> yeah. And I actually think it's neat. We even had a hundred people listening. Yeah. To us. Yeah. Like if you listened, we appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a hundred's not a it's not serial numbers. Yeah, it's not. But it's something. You it's know? something. So, it's more than just nobody. It's yeah. not like we're talking to dead air. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, speaking of cereal, <laughs> that guy got acquitted. Wait, who? You, did you listen to cereal? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Oh. <laughs> Google it. I will. I will. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, we have 100 whole people, mm-hmm. which I mean, it's not home inspection whisper numbers. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I think it's still a pretty good track record for a podcast with two random girls Mm -hmm. very it's very niche so yes (laughs) yeah it's talking about building science yeah um yeah yeah thank you so much for joining me i have learned so much so i know when i have my own house i'm i'm gonna know all this information and you know who to call for home inspection exactly exactly of course (laughs) (laughs) like of course (laughs) well thank you for doing this with me yes, and for um working for us mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we're it's very been, excited it's been amazing so. we're excited for you <laughs> thank you we really are this is a big step in your career yes i'm excited so i, I am gonna miss you guys though but <laughs> yeah probably not this uh neighborhood though <laughs> yeah yeah not that but <laughs> everything else yeah <laughs> well we wish you all the best yes we really you. do thank you. and to our listeners we wish you all the best as well definitely Go back and listen all over again. Yeah. Because we're going to leave this up for a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it'll be available, hopefully, in perpetuity. Yes. And if you're interested in other home inspection topics, you can check out Chris's podcast. Yes. Which I will warn you is no longer being recorded either. Yeah. But there's some information on there. Still has some pretty good information. Yeah. Um, Especially if you're trying to be a home inspector. Yes. Especially if you want to be a home inspector. So... I'm Mary. And I'm Isis. And we're the Home Girls. And we'll thank you so much. Thank we will you guys. See you never. See I you guess. when we see you. <laughs> <laughs>